Now to the crisis in the Middle East and a new weapon in the fight this morning. Israel shooting down a drone overnight. The death toll is rising and a ground offensive could be next. ABC's Alex Marquois has the latest and joins us this morning from Gaza City. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Robin. The United Nations says 80% of those killed so far here in Gaza are civilians. The Secretary General saying too many Palestinians have died and is leading growing international pressure for a ceasefire to try to stop the bloodshed. This morning, Hamas unveiled the latest weapon in its arsenal, sending a drone along the coast into southern Israel, which destroyed it with a Patriot missile. This as Israel pounded the Gaza Strip overnight. Now, more than 1,500 strikes since the operation began. Palestinian militants continue firing waves of rockets, but so far, no Israelis have been killed, while the death toll here is soaring. Over 170 dead, almost 1,300 wounded. Here, some of the 18 members of the al Bach family, including three children, who were killed when Israel targeted the head of police. He survived. Israel accuses Hamas of using civilians as human shields, now showing how they try to avoid civilian casualties. In this video, calling to tell residents they have five minutes to leave. Thousands have fled their neighborhoods after Israel warned it would bomb. Now taking refuge in school classrooms. I hope to God we can break Israel, this woman told me, and win. The reality is no one on either side is winning or showing signs of letting up. Israel is stepping up its campaign against Hamas. All indications are this could go on for quite some time.